Welcome to another Tech Help video brought to you by AccessLearningZone.com. I am your instructor, Richard Rost. In this video, I'm going to show you how to combine the names of couples in addresses or greetings in Microsoft Access. Today's question comes from William from Dallas, Texas. This is a paid Tech Help question. I do offer paid questions if you want to get your question to the top of the queue. You'll find a link down in the link section below. William says, I'm working on a membership database where I would like to show a single name if there's only one person. If it's a couple, I'd like to combine them if their last names are the same. For example, I could have John Smith or John and Amy Smith or John Smith and Amy Jones. How do I do this in Access? Well, William, there's a couple of different ways you can do it. You can do it with a couple of tricky nested if functions. I'm going to show you that in just a second. Or you can do it with a custom VBA function. I'll show that in the extended cut. But let's see how to do it with if functions first. Now, if you've never used the if function before, the if function, the immediate if, I've got another video. Go watch that first. It's on my website. There's the link. I'll put a link down below. You can click on it. Go watch that so you understand the if function. This is going to be a little trickier. This is going to involve nested if functions, all right? if function inside of another if function. So go watch that one first and then come back. All right, so let's take a look at how we're going to set this up. Here's my free tech help template. You can download a copy of this off my website if you want to. It's free. There's a link down below in the link section. In here, I've got a customer form. Now, let's say you're doing memberships and you want to have, in addition to the primary customer, the customer's partner or spouse or whatever. Now, generally, like I talk about in my genealogy databases, I like keeping people as separate records. So you'd have a link to them, maybe pick it with a combo box, or whatever, and link it to a second record. That's the best way to do it. However, if it's a simple database, you just want to put the husband and wife together in one table, that's fine too. A lot of people do that. So let's go to the customer table, design view. All right, I've got first name and last name here. Let's insert two rows and we'll put a second person in here. And again, there's nothing really wrong with doing it this way. If you got a simple database, you don't have to keep everything perfectly database normalized and all that. I'm going to put in here other first and other last. I like to keep the terms generic. You don't know which one's which, husband, wife, or if it's two husbands or whatever. Or it could be an unmarried couple, whatever. It doesn't matter. All right, so you got spots in here for two people. Okay, now other might be blank. So that's other, something else you have to take into consideration. So let's save this and let's put some data in here. All right, let's go to data sheet view, right click data sheet view. All right, I'll put my girlfriend in here. Don't tell her I put her in here. She'll get mad at me. Okay. And then let's put in James Kirk is uh, Carol Marcus, right? Okay, and Deanna Troy. Now, we got Deanna Troy and Will Riker in the table already. Let's say that here we're going to put in William Riker right there. And Jean-Luc was never married, but let's put in here an Anna Picard just so we can see two similar names combining together. Will Riker and Malcolm Reynolds will leave those blank. Okay, just so we can see what it looks like when they're blank. Okay, now... Let's head over to make a query, and we'll use a couple of if functions. First, we'll say, okay, if this is blank, all right, either one of these, let's say you got to have both names in order to, for this to work, okay? If, it's, if either one of these is blank, then just display this, all right? If the last names are the same, I want to see John Luke and Anna Picard. And if they're different, like these guys, you want to see James Kirk and Carol Marcus, Okay. Okay, here's how we do that. Let's go over to Create, Query Design, bring in the customer table. All right, bring in first name, last name, other first, other last. All right, here's where our greeting is going to go. Greeting, colon. Now I'm going to Shift F2, zoom in. This is going to get a little crazy. I kind of actually prefer doing this with VBA, which is going to be covered in the advanced, uh, the extended cut. All right, Th this gets kind of nuts, but it's not that bad. All right, the, the benefit of the VBA function is you can use it anywhere. You can use it in forms, reports, whatever. This just works in this query. So you, if you want to use this in a form or report, you've got to base it on this query. Or you've got to copy this function in other places. If you do it as a VBA function, you can just do it, use it once and call it anywhere. So let's tackle the single person first. So if is null other first, 
Now, you could put or, is, null, other, last. But let's just say if there's no first name, all right, for the second person, then forget about it, okay? If is, null, other, first, comma, what to put in here if that is true? We're just going to put first name, last name. So it's going to be first name and a space and last name. Otherwise, all right, in here is where we're going to put if it's a couple. Well, let's just test this first. All right, so if is null other first, just put in here first name and a space and a last name. This is concatenation, by the way. If you don't know concatenation, go watch that video. All right, but if you watch the if video, then you've watched the concatenation video because that's a prerequisite to the other one. See, every video's got prerequisites. So you got to watch all the prerequisites, okay? All right. Otherwise, we'll just throw X's in here. Just for now, just to test it, just to make sure that what we got here so far works. Let's save this as couple Q or whatever. All right, run it. Okay, so if they're missing a first name, you get just Will Riker, all right? So all these are X's because they're couples. So now we'll deal with the couples. Okay, back to design view. And I just put little shortcut but buttons up here on my quick launch toolbar. You can just open up the full menu there if you want to. All right, that's so you can, that's so I can fit more on the screen for you guys. All right, let's go back into here, zoom in, shift F2. All right, now let's deal with this part of it. This is going to be where the nesting goes in, another if function. If we get to this point, that means we've got a couple. So now I'm going to say if, and then open close parentheses, put something in the middle here. I like to do that because then I don't end up with unmatched parentheses at the end. I always get that problem. All right, now I'm going to say if the last name is the same as other last, then put them together that way. So if last name equals other last, and notice how I don't have to put in all those square brackets myself because I didn't use spaces in my names, all right? If last name equals other last, comma, that means it's the same, okay? We're going to do, we're going to do first name and an ampersand. We could put the word and in here so it's not crazy, all right? Because you'll have a ton of those ampersands. I'll just put, I'll just spell the word and out to make it easier first, all right? First name and other first space last name comma xxx okay just the xxx's are just a placeholder so what i've said here is if the if the last names match i want to say jean luc and anna picard okay see that we're taking it one step at a time oh invalid syntax what did i miss i probably missed a function here let me see here i got a, something out of place yeah, I, I always do this. I'm missing an ampersand right there. There we go. Okay. All right. Hit OK. And now run it. Okay. These two last names match. They're the same. So there's Jean-Luc and Anna Picard. Now, everything that's left is you got two different last names. So now we'll just put that together like so. All right. Replace this. This is going to be first name and a space and last name and 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 other first and a space and last name. I told you it was going to get a little crazy. Nope. Other last. Other last. Okay. All right. There's the final formula. Should be. Hit OK. Make sure it works. And then run it. And there you go. All right, now, I don't want the word and in there. I want to replace that with another ampersand, but it, it gets a little confusing to do it the first time through like that. So I'm going to take these the word and, which is right there, and replace it with one of those. It just looks better. And then this one is one of the... See how, see how more confusing it looks now? Because you got the ampersand actually inside the string. All right, there's your final function. Write it down. Okay, copy it, whatever you want to do. All right, gold members, you can download this database. Hit OK, and now I'll run it. And there's your greeting. All right, James Kirk and Carol Marcus. Jean-Luc and Anna Picard, same last name. Will Riker, right? Nobody's in this field. Okay, now that's the way to do it with a query. All right, and the extended cut for the members, I'll show you how to make a custom VBA function that you can call from anywhere in the database. In the extended cut for the members, I will show you how to build a VBA function called couple greeting where you send it the first name, last name, other first, other last, and then it will put them together for you and return the proper greeting. The benefit of this is you can use it anywhere in the database. You can use it in forms, reports, other queries, and so on. 
All right, that's in the extended cut for members. Silver members and up get access to all of my extended cut videos. Gold members can download all the templates. How do you become a member? Click the join button below the video. After you click the join button, you'll see a list of all the different types of membership levels that are available. Silver members and up will get access to all of the extended cut tech help videos, live video and chat sessions, and more. Gold members get access to a download folder containing all the sample databases that I build in my tech help videos, plus my code vault where I keep tons of different functions that I use. Platinum members get all the previous perks plus access to my full beginner courses and some of my expert courses. These are the full length courses found on my website and not just for access. I also teach Word, Excel, Visual Basic, ASP and lots more. But don't worry, these free tech help videos are going to keep coming. As long as you keep watching them, I'll keep making more. If you like this video, please give me a thumbs up and feel free to post any comments that you have. I do read them all. Make sure you subscribe to my channel, which is completely free, and click the bell icon and select all to receive notifications when new videos are posted. Click on the show more link below the video to find additional resources and links. You'll see a list of other videos, additional information related to the current topic, free lessons, and lots more. YouTube no longer sends out email notifications when new videos are posted, so if you'd like to get an email every time I post a new video, click on the link to join my mailing list. Now, if you have not yet tried my free Access Level 1 course, check it out now. It covers all the basics of building databases with Access. It's over three hours long. You can find it on my website or on my YouTube channel. And if you like level one, level two is just $1. And it's also free for all members of my YouTube channel at any level. Want to have your question answered in a video just like this one? Visit my tech help page and you can send me your question there. Click here to watch my free access beginner level one course, more of my tech help videos, or to subscribe to my channel. Thanks for watching this video from accesslearningzone.com.